Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial series Introduction to Python for Absolute Beginners. In this tutorial series, we are going to cover a wide array of topics, particularly pertaining to the basic concepts of Python, to get you started with your very first Python project only in a matter of few days. So let's get started by downloading Python for Windows 10. So as you can see over here, I have already logged into www.python.org. After you have logged into this website, you can directly go to downloads and over here you can see that the latest version is Python 3.8.1. Now if you would like to see the full list of downloads, you can actually click over here and this will show you what are the, the previous versions of Python. Now if you would like to download the latest version of Python, as you can see over here, you can download the latest version of Python which is Python 3.8.1. Or if you would like to download an earlier version of Python, you can simply scroll down a little bit. And if you just scroll over here, you can see that all the previous versions of Python is actually available for you to download. Now, for example, uh, for this tutorial, maybe I will try to install Python 3.7.6. So I can just click over here and I can scroll down. And since I'm using Windows 10, I can install Python using this Windows uh, executable installer. So I'm just going to click on this and we can save that file. And once you navigate to the to the executable file which you downloaded, you can just simply click on that and click on run. And then you will arrive at this setup window. Now over here you can see that it shows you the version that you're going to install and the location that you're going to install. And over, over here it says that it, it'll include idle, pip and documentation. So this idle, I will explain what this idle means uh, in a few minutes. Actually, this idle is the integrated development environment, uh, basically an inbuilt code editor, a simple version of a code editor, which uh, gets installed along with Python. Uh, more information on this in a few minutes. Before you go to the next step, you can also click on this add Python 3.7 to path. And I will explain what is the benefit of uh, adding this Python 3.7 to path. Uh, soon after the installation and if you would like to install it in this default location you can just simply click install now but if you would like to change the location of installation you can actually just uh, click customize installation and uh, i'm going to keep everything ticked like this and over here i'm actually going to install it directly in a new folder in my c drive so i can go to my c drive create a new folder Python 3.7 and click OK and you can directly go ahead and start the installation process All right, now you can see that the setup is successful, so we can just close. And now if you go to your start menu, you can and you can search for IDLE, idle, and you can just go ahead and open. And as you can see over here, we have successfully installed Python 3.7.6. And this is basically going to be your code editor which comes by default along with the along with the fresh installation of Python. And in the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to discuss in detail what we can do with this uh, Python shell, what we can do with this uh, this inbuilt code editor. And for the time being, we can just test whether our Python works quite well or not by simply typing out the universal statement of hello world. So in Python, you can print a hello world by simply typing print And when you press enter, you will see that hello world actually got printed over here. And if you were following along the tutorial, congratulations, you just, you just completed your very first Python program. So let's go ahead and open the command prompt. I can open it by simply typing cmd. And if you type Python over here, you can see that it displays Python and now we can actually start typing all the regular Python commands within our command prompt. So previously I told you that I will explain you the reason what is the benefit of uh, ticking that add Python 3.7 to path. 
So now as a result of that, you're actually able to run Python directly from your command prompt. So, so do you like to check whether this small Python program, whether it works in the, within your command prompt or not? We can just try it out. Print. Hello world. And as you can see, hello world got printed over here. So to, so to get started with the tutorial series, I'm not going to use the command prompt anymore. So I'll go ahead and close this. And in the next video, I will explain a bit more about what we can do with this inbuilt code editor, which is known as idle, which comes with uh, every fresh installation of Python. So I'll see you in the next one.